Hello everyone, we just released uh, a new fantastic update of the SCM monitor and in this video I'm gonna talk you through the new options. Let's check it out. Obviously you need uh, the file first, so let's download that from uh, GitHub. And uh, if you're new to this, you can simply download the whole zip as you already also gonna need the grp curl file i already have that so i'm gonna download just the ps1 file and i'm gonna save that on my desktop here so i use um, visual studio code show me all the nice colors guys uh, um, I think it's important to say that uh, even though it's me publishing the the monitor this is a team effort uh, doing this incredible program so if you've been using the monitor before I'm gonna show you here so this is my previous monitor and obviously already have my settings here so all you have to do is copy this to the new file and there you go you save it and let's close it and i'm going to put inside my folder so this is going to be the updated file i'm going to open that and edit so let's go through the the new options so here you can see you can put your address to partial or full or even hidden in case you want to take a screenshot to, to show someone fake coins fake coins you can put any value you want again if you want to take a screenshot or just want to have some fun you can put fake value and it will show on the monitor choose zero to show the real value so this is the refresh time I like five minutes since um, each layer takes five minutes to happen so 300 seconds there logo delay can live like that background color if you want to change I prefer black so email if you want email notifications in case a note goes offline choose true and be sure to put your email there the grp curl file you can leave it like that if you're using the same folder see it's here and it's there same folder so in here you give um, if you're new to the program you give uh, your nodes a name so you know which one is it if you're using remotely you need to put the IP address of the computer and the ports so if you haven't done it yet you need to set up the config files as shows on this video I've done previously so this is a test node I have and it's on same computer as the monitor so I'm gonna put local host and the relevant ports you can activate or deactivate extra notes like so so if you activate a new note be sure to use a comma here so you don't have any errors so I'm gonna put a key a fake note so you can see what happens when the email goes through so I'm gonna put wrong IP address as well and that's your setup all you have to do it is safe how email works further down the code you can find the email settings so this was an email I set up specifically just for this but you can use your SMTP if you prefer to do so so all set up save and run with PowerShell make sure you're using PowerShell for this 
the node will the monitor will start it will query the nodes to check the parameters you do need a local host to show the balance this is because we are using database queries for the the balance so test testnet localhost is not yet ready because it's still working and uh, what's new here is reward layers this shows how many layers this particular node have uh, for this epoch okay uh, ATX, this is this only works on the poet week, so meaning the next poet will be this Sunday. And uh, once the node publish the ATX, it will show here the target epoch. Obviously, this is live, so it doesn't show, but I do have a picture here showing how it looks like. So as you can see, as soon my nodes publish ATX, we start showing the target epoch. Okay, now that my test testnet local node is, is all fully sick, you can see the balance there. And as I put just partial my wallet. If you go to your folder, now you have a new file. This file is generated by the monitor and it contains your layers so as you can see each node id and whatever layers is it legible for what's cool about this file is this if you go to um, space mesh tracker app actually before that <laughs> sorry we need to send the file to the phone first. Use whatever means you find it easier, Bluetooth, file transfer, whatever. Now on Space Mesh Tracker app, if you go to your folder and if you go to Rewards Details, you have an option to import layers. Now all you have to do is find your file, it will be downloads I think, yeah. We will track it up. Here we go. And this is what I receive. And this is the upcoming rewards. So my next one will be November 24th. Pretty cool now. And I think that pretty much covered the new options. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, just give me a comment or join us on the Space Mesh Discord. And uh, I'll try to guide you there if you have any problems running the monitor. Thank you for watching, guys.